Hello guys, Unknown Gamer here, and today's video we're going to be talking about Anthem. And by the way, this video ain't going to go that in depth with Anthem. I'm just going to be spouting out my just utter shamefulness on the game. And EA, Bioware, this is what happens when you don't listen to your player base. You had many opportunities to listen to your player base, improve the game in general. Look, Launch was a big flop, you know, long loading times, you know, rubbish loot in boxes. You guys could have fixed all that. But no, you decided to stick to your part because most possibly EA is just going to say no to everything. And it's like, okay, just, just don't listen to them at all. Let the loot boxes be the same with shitty loot. As the player base has been requesting better loot, I mean, is it really that hard to do? All you need to do is change a line of code, add new skins, you mean you have a big team on that, but you guys didn't listen. So, a couple of months now, it's just been a couple of months and apparently there's been nothing at all. The roadmap hasn't really changed much, they just still won't listen on what they're doing, I mean, Bioware, it, it, it's a shame, I think, I think Bioware was the ones of Halo. Honestly, you guys can tell me in the comment section, but they made a lot of good games, but this is just a joke I, Look, this is just the fault of the publishers and the game developers for not listening to the feedback from its players and apparently So many people are leaving the game that you just the matchmaking is just painful to do in the game now It's virtually nearly unplayable so, Games as a Service is going really well, and the fact is, this is more worse than Fallout 76. This is more worse than Red Dead Online, while Red Dead Online has still got a big player base, so let's just keep that in mind. This is just what happens when developers, publishers just go in, rush the fucking project, and, and expect to make money from it. This is what I'm seeing from these game publishers and developers or whatever. Bethesda, they pretty much use their same assets from Fallout 4 and bring them into the game. Anthem, different assets. But, just, honestly, it wasn't the same as the E3 trailers or gameplay footage that I've seen. It's fucking stupid. The amount of, the amount of, like, corrupt fucking officials in these game studios it's just disgusting to me I am utter <laughs> astonished and how long they pretty much kept this game I, I'm I'm astonished and how long the player base has stayed on Anthem I mean I, I would have quit from the get-go but they st they held on to Anthem expecting an update something new to the game something that will fix the game but no you guys didn't fucking listen so there you go, your game's dead. What a big failure. You're advertising this as, you know, nice graphics, 4K, and, well, and, you know, teamwork. I swear, Division Division 1's better than this. The, the, the Division was a disappointment, but at least it kept its player base for long enough and actually made them happy. Just wow. I mean, I've never seen such... It's out of control. I never seen so much damage control in my life from a game studio. Wow. Anyway, guys, gonna end the video here. Yeah, I mean, you guys can say what Anthem is like in the comment section down below if you if you're still playing it anyway. Uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content like this. And seriously, this game is a joke. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video, and I'll see you then.